right, today I got a video that may be of interest to a lot of you, especially 6.0 liter owners. I have a 2006 Ford Super Duty 6.0, obviously, and has a crank no start situation. And the reason why it's not starting is because it has a low ICP uh, condition. It only builds around 350 psi. And this is going to illustrate exactly why we only use Motorcraft filters at the dealership. Now the filters I'm talking about are these ones right here. This is an aftermarket oil filter. And they're made by Wix and Napa Gold and all that. And it's a filter and cap assembly. And the advertisement is having the higher capacity to filter more garbage out of your engine. You see the longer element here and the larger cap, the taller cap than stock? Well, the problem with these is the build quality, okay? This one actually came apart and stuck some chunks of uh, the filter itself down through the system and caused the IPR to get stuck open. Let me focus here for you. Okay, right here on the inner edge is where it's supposed to seal against the housing, right? And that seals the inner part of the filter, which goes to the standpipe, and the fresh, clean stuff goes out from the dirty stuff out here. Now, this chunked off and sent debris throughout the system not to mention before it actually blew through the oil cooler screen everything out here and here all that dirty oil was going right past here and bypassing the whole time and that also put debris out and through the system now you look at the Ford one here the Motorcraft one you can see for the inner edge here where it goes metal to plastic they use felt instead of the plastic like the other ones. This is going to provide a lot better seal and it's not going to crack and be dry and, and brittle from the heat of the 6.0's. And I'll show you... Hopefully you can see this. This is the IPR that I pull, had to pull out of this one. You should be able to see that, yeah. Right here you can see the piece, that, that sliver piece of the uh, the filter actually blew right through here. You see that? And I'll show you in a second here what it looks like inside the oil filter housing. But you can see the large, large slit it put right through here and that stuck open the IPR. Now luckily um, I had air in the system. I was doing an air test. And I was exercising this valve back and forth. The little pin tool inside of there. And I moved it back enough and had it open. I left the air on there and walked away to work on another job and actually push the debris out from the pintle in here so I was able to start it and bring it in thankfully but you can see that's a that's a huge freaking slit right in there and that's that chunk of the filter that went down and through the system through the engine uh, and and stuck open the IPR and I'll show you inside the filter here in a second uh, just what it looks like yeah, alright there's probably good you see all this garbage on the outside here now I know outside of this in this filter housing is all unfiltered oil the point is, there's like chunks of garbage and everything else through here. If this filter was doing its job, sending good oil down through the standpipe, out the system, the worst you're going to get is actual black soot. You know, the black oil is just fine. You shouldn't have all these chunks floating around in here, and this housing means so dirty. Look at the standpipe right here, all the coating on there. And I'll get you down in here and show you the actual piece. I'll show you the piece of the filter that actually came off. It's kind of hard to get to, but you can see it right there. The whole filter just came apart. And that just sends debris out and about the engine. Not to mention all the bad, dirty oil that's in here should be filtered and go through the standpipe. It's now bypassing. Also, what these aftermarket filters can cause is this right here. That should be that's a drain back valve to drain the housing in case you got to change the housing. Uh, you want to drain, drain all the oil inside the housing when you do an oil and filter change, obviously. So you pull a filter out, this pops up, and all the oil drains out of here. Now, some of those filters they come apart like that; they're the wrong size. They can actually not push this down and seal it. Therefore, you can have uh, uh, hard starts, you know, long crank times or a no start even all because you use the wrong filter. This is why the dealership just sticks with the motorcraft stuff. That filter is designed for this engine specifically and it's going to provide the capacity. There's no reason to go 
um, to anything else out there. So hopefully this provides a insight into the world of aftermarket filters, whether it be fuel, oil, or air. They usually just don't fit right or filter the same as OEM. And as you've seen here, bigger is not always better. This job's already cost them $700 plus dollars. Plus we're going to have to go into the oil cooler and tear all that out, more labor, parts, and everything else, all because they wanted to go aftermarket and try to have a bigger filtering capability in the end the filter just came apart and took out the high pressure system